Hello and welcome to another Your Business Card Guy tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Corel Draw outline options. So let's say we're working on a postcard or some other design and we've got some a background color or a texture. Uh, it's pretty common with like photographs and you've got text on top that you need it to stand out and be separated you know, from the background and you can try to take something like this and simply make it white and see how that works. However, if you have something with like a photo in the back and it's going from dark to light to a variety of colors, the white may disappear at some points. So one of the techniques we can use is to simply add a stroke or an outline around the text. Right click, get an outline, and now I can make the outline the thickness that I prefer. I'm going to go here and make it a few pixels because I want it to really stand out. And again, it's starting to look a little bit more like you might imagine from a postcard or a direct mail piece you might have seen. A uh, photo, you know, photo with uh, a house in the background and some text on the front saying, you know, we we can take care of your lawn or whatever. And let's say this looks okay, and we're gonna change this because we want to try something a little different. Maybe we, you know, we're switching this around uh, to whatever, and maybe even we're matching that. Uh, and, and we say that's fine. However, we realize that this is too large, and we need to shrink it down quite a bit. So we can grab this and simply make it smaller. However, you'll notice that all of a sudden our outline is starting to take over. I mean, it looks horrible. This, this is, you know, this isn't going to work at all. So one of the things you could do is you could click this, double click your outline again, and try to find a size that matches the new size. So maybe try one. That's not quite enough. So we'll bump it to two. You know, see how that looks. And you know, that we might say that looks okay. We, you know, we're happy enough with that. Um, at that size, not a problem. However, there is another way to keep that from happening in the first place and to make your life a little bit easier. So let me back out a couple steps here. So let's say we got our original drawing and that we're happy with. Now what we want to do before we resize it is we want to open the dialog and we want to check this little box here, scale with object. And we're going to say okay to that. So now when we shrink everything, Corel realizes that it should readjust the size to match the overall. So now you end up with the right size regardless of how big you make this. So you're not having to adjust it three different times because you're, you're changing the size three different times. So that's a super handy way to have your outline match your, your desired effect regardless of the size of the, fi the final piece. So you can go ahead and design it in a way that works for you and then resize it the way that it fits best into the design that you're working on without having to mess around with the outlines every single time you readjust it. Okay, so there's another one of the options that we want to take a look at. So let's say we have a design and we want to actually have a very, very thick border to really make it stand out from whatever the background is. So let's say we want it actually to be something like 16, just massive. As we as we pointed out when we shrank the the thing down how it just washes it out and that doesn't work at all right well there is another option in the dialog box that you can use and it's behind fill so again this is the outline options behind the fill so this is going to make an adjustment to how the outline is applied so now it's thick but it doesn't actually eat into our our font in this case it's always going to be behind there so even if I make it bigger my actual text remains the same. It doesn't get washed out, okay? Let's take a look at it if I remove that. See how the outline's actually taken over the text? So you can use behind fill to have a nice, thick outline to, to help your drawings separate your, your images to, to differentiate from the text, from the photographs, you know, whatever else, other elements you have going on without losing the actual font and having it be overcome by the outline sort of leaching into it. So that's a real super handy. The behind fill and the scale with object are two really, really good outline options that you can use. I mean, really just to save you time. I mean, you can, you can accomplish the same goals manually each time, each step as you shrink a logo down. If you've realized that one of the, uh, the pieces has gotten thicker and you need to resize it, you can do that. But by making it scale and, and, deciding if you need the behind fill or not just saves you that time and it helps you get through it much more quickly. 
Thanks again for watching this Your Business Card Guy tutorial. Today we learned about outline options in Corel Draw. We'll see you next time.